I had this dream. I'm in the back of a cab. And the air's running out. I can't breathe. I start panicking. I think I'm gonna suffocate. And then the phone rang. Now that wakes me the fuck up, and I know who it is. <laughs> Even though no number come up, it's gotta be Tito. And this time, I gotta answer it. I pick up, he says, we gotta talk, B. I'm like, talk about what? There goes, nigga, I told you not to fuck with me. You tie your shit. I forget who the fuck I am. He's yelling and screaming. I can't even understand him for a while. But I know all this just means he wants his money. And wifey don't need to hear all this shit. So I step in the other room while Tito keeps bugging out. Hey, yo, he was dumb tight. I tell him, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Be easy. He tells me, meet him at the Brooklyn spot in an hour. Else he gonna come looking for me. I'm like, all right, bet. I'll be there. Ain't got his money, but I'll be there. Ain't got any money. Ain't got nothing. No coke, no money, no nothing. Ah, oh, man. Fuck I'm gonna do now. How the fuck I get in a situation like this in the first place? Car is illegally parked. You realize that you are three inches over the line. You're a newspaper guy or a reporter, whatever. You're not a policeman, right? No, but I I didn't block anybody from crossing the street. I should have never fucked with that punk bitch Joey Gallagher. Yes. That's what they all say. They always say I'm the one with the problem. Joey Galaxy was this rich Jewish white boy from Cali, he owned a couple of clubs in the city. He owned clubs all over the world. This nigga was international. He could speak like 10 different languages. Talk better Spanish than me. Joey was a pussy magnet. He always had hoes hanging all over him. He had dough, you know what I mean? He grew up in Beverly Hills and shit. He loved to party. And he partied with a lot of famous people. Like that one girl from that stupid movie that's always on cable. And he went through more coke than Rick James. He's finding me because he's putting money in my pocket. Because I could get an eighth of a key for 3000 And I was selling to this motherfucker for 5 So I was making two Gs on one flip. No cut, straight raw. He wasn't even breaking it down and selling it. He would just do it. He'd do it or he'd give it away. He'd feed it to the hoes and shit. He was my best customer. He was my only customer for a while. It got to the point where I was like down with him. I was part of his entourage. I was the coke guy. I like Joe. We had a lot in common. We both like getting ass. Litter ball? Yes. What are you, f***ing Smokey the f***ing bear? Come on, give me a f***ing sm- We both thought that dude on Channel oh, 6 was just, hilarious. That's just terrible. We would get blazed and laugh our asses off at this dude. What, what is the f***ing reason? Who the f*** are you? Who the f*** are, are you? Who the f*** are you? He just put his hands on me, and we had that on tape. Things was all right, man. I was living like a rock star. The thing is, Tito's been fronting me the coke, and I haven't really gotten around to getting him his dough. So I owe him a few G's or whatever. He has to see the bigger picture. I'm working, you know what I mean? I got the cash. He's just gonna have to wait. So one night, I go to Joey's crib to handle business, and there's a new chick on the couch sniffing lines. Now, normally when Joey cops for me, he ain't got nobody around. No bitches, no no one. Now, here she is. A bitch I ain't recognized? Yeah, I should've smelled something funny right then, but I thought, nah. It's Joey Galaxy. He got hoes coming out of his ass. He can't help it. So I eat Shorty's cool, and I'm sure Shorty's a lot of fun, too. I guess we'll find out. So I give the girl a little taste while me and Mr. Galaxy do our thing. This girl's like a vacuum. I'm feeling this chick right here. She's mad cute. What is that, like a geisha girl outfit or something? Uh. But what, it's gonna be two dudes and one chick? That could get awkward. Or maybe she's just gonna give us head. That's what's up. Anyways, Joey gets a call and says, I gotta take this, and walks off to the bathroom. I'm like, huh? Fuck he talking to gotta be so private. But then I catch how this Susie is looking at me, and I'm thinking, oh, I see you, ma. Got you all to myself tonight, huh? Thanks, Joey. Good looking out, my nigga. My man. He's probably got a hole in the bathroom. That's who quite. Probably got three holes in the bathroom. Probably having some hot, wet RG in the shower right now. Psst. Take your time, B. Because I'm about to smash on your couch. But then she grabs my wrist, twists my arm, and flips me through the coat. Door kicks open. Dudes start coming through the windows and shit. And the next thing I know, I got guns in my face. I'm like, fuck is going on here? Oh, and I was about to find out exactly what was going on. I was about to come face to face with a walking nightmare. The prince of darkness. The devil himself. The king of corruption. Pure evil. A war with a pain that was about to hit me right in the face. It was the tone. Gee, I guess somebody set me up, huh? I guess that means Shorty's a cop. And she's fucking this nigga. Psst. Never trust bitches. Oh, that's disgusting. So these guys must be the Totones. I had heard about them, but I never knew what they looked like. Ain't no running from these motherfuckers. A fearless special police unit. Super cops. Bringing a war to the streets. I didn't even know what department they were supposed to be in. They just knocked A and chased you any crime. Bottom, bitch, too. And some crimes ain't even exist. They was out of control, and they loved to rob you. That was their thing. They would bag you, and then they would take all your shit. They didn't give a fuck who you were. They was a stick-up crew on steroids. Move, and who's gonna stop them? They police. They was out of control. 
and they were led by a psychotic Puerto Rican Irish renegade NYPD lieutenant named Patrick Tothon. They brought down a lot of big time New York gangsters. Like B. Bob Davis, ran up in his park F crib, took all the dough and jewels in the house, disrespected his wife, and then hit Bop with 15 years. And what about Jojo Brooks? Chased him down in broad daylight, caused an accident, people got hurt, didn't even charge him. Joey got to be a problem for these guineas and they wanted him gone. They put the bounty on his head and the Tothonis took that contract, they got rid of him. Scooped him from the scene, and ain't no one seen his ass since. They even knocked Flatbush Sonny Watkins. They marked his whole team. Extorted him for two years before they decided to lock him up. And now they got me. Gee, I'm flattered. I can't believe this is how I'm finally going out. And all because of that snitching Jew cock sucker Joey Galaxy. But they ain't take me to jail. Don't charge me or nothing. Ain't even ask me to snitch on them. Not yet, at least. Remember, they're the Tothonis. They want to have some fun. And they got to get paid. So now I'm working for them. They keep me on the street so I can hustle. And I kick up a little something to them every week or whatever. And they still ain't asked me about no one yet. Now that yo, who's his supplier? It was all about the money. The money and the free drugs. They were skimming just a little at first, but then they started taking more and more. It got to be where I wasn't making enough to give them what they wanted all the time. So I had to start going in my pocket to pay these motherfuckers. So now I'm losing money. And when I re-up, I had to be slick. I used to always act like I was in a hurry. I'm busy. I'll be smiling at people's faces. Yo, I gotta go. I got someone waiting on this shit. And I'll be out. Before the subject of money come up, I'm gone. I ain't come here to poly. And it was cool. Getting shit for free is what I do best. But it got to the point where I was just giving the work away. No wholesale, just a handoff. Straight off the boat and into their house. They was moving the coke themselves. Now nah, not giving me shit. <laughs> so now I got no money or drugs. And I owe Tito 15 G's. I've been ducking him for months. And he's like, I got you, I got you, I got you. And yeah, he's here. He was born pissed off. Tito's a miserable bastard. He hates anything. Music, weather, ice cream. What he hates the most is when niggas fuck with his money. Especially me, because we're first cousins. If I see him, I ain't got his paper, he's gonna give me an ass whooping. Family or not, you get stomped the fuck out. And he's done it before. Like the time when we was bagging up in the Bronx, I caught a beat. He thought I was making a 20 too fast. It wasn't my fault, man. The scales was fucked up. But at some on Coney Island, he got mad because I kept beating him at ski ball. I was picking splinters from the boardwalk out my face for weeks. I think he was just trying to show off for this chick he met there. By the time he ruined Christmas, when I kept making fun of the gift he gave me, I can't help it, it was an ugly ass sweater. Fake ass polo from Chinatown. Yeah, he beat me up a lot over the years, matter of fact. It's still annoying, but you kind of get used to it. Anyways, I finally get the call from Tothone saying, meet him at the Haven. This nigga used to like get twisted at nine in the morning. I can use a drink, but he buy my broke ass shit. I got no money, and I'm tired of being their bitch. Finally asked me the question that by now, I can't wait to hear. So who's your connect? Now, I'd rather not snitch on no one, especially my own blood. But fuck it, let them bother someone else. Tito or Ochoa. Oh shit, you mean to tell me he's known about Tito this whole time? Turns out Tatone had a real hard on for Tito, trying to bag him for years. They did their homework, man. They've been watching the whole crew. They knew more about the Ochoa team than even I did. Tatone hated my cousin's guts. That's because Tito was the only nigga he could never bring down. He could never even find them. All he had was that one stupid picture of him. He was driving him crazy. And Tito didn't know who the fuck Pat Totone even was. And that pissed him off even more. Totone started going insane. He was bugging the fuck out. He was possessed. And I wasn't out this mess yet. Totone needed me to help set Tito up. He wanted me to wear a wire, get him on tape selling drugs to me. This shit was obviously personal. So what the hell am I sticking around for? I'm getting the fuck out of town. I should have done this shit a long time ago. I was gonna steal my girl's car, but she took to her mother's for the weekend. Then I remember I had some people up north that I could lay low with for a while. So I go to Grand Central and boom, they come to the Tostones. Just waiting for me. Red scooped me up and tossed me back in the mix. How they always know where I'm at? This some big brother Illuminati shit. They must be on me like a motherfucker. I mean, I can't move. I'm trapped. They're gonna make sure I'm there to set up Tito. And it ain't take long after that for me to get the call talking about, we gotta talk, B. And here Look I am. Look at that. He's, he's making an illegal turn. Hey, after all I've gone through, he's making an illegal turn. On the couch watching this dickhead again. When the phone rang again, I picked up and <laughs> all I heard was laughing. I didn't have to tell them nothing. They heard the whole shit because they had my phone tap. All right, here we go. Let's get this shit over with. Fuck. Cops probably gonna lock my ass up too. Or maybe they're just gonna put a bullet in my head. We're gonna miss a snitch, right? I could choke the fuck out of Joey Galaxy right now. No matter what happens, I'm fucked and there's nothing I can do. I mean, who you go to when you're being fucked by the police? I meet the Jakes a couple blocks from the spot so they can wire me up and shit. I wonder what they're gonna do with Tito. Lock him up, extort him, or just murder the fat bastard. Whatever was about to go down, it was gonna be ugly. <sighs> oh, man. Why does this shit always happen to me? Throw me out the truck and give me some more bills. 
As soon as Tino opens his mouth, the shit is on. I just hope when it does pop off, I can find a place to hide or something. I don't want to get caught with a stray. But then, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, I didn't actually think he was going to show up. Because when I was on the train coming over here, I seen a poster for the dude on Channel 6. What's his name? Rolling or whatever. Talking about need help? Call now. And it had a number. So I'm thinking, hmm, fuck it. I ain't got nothing to lose. As soon as I get off the train, I call the number. And whoever answered the phone even sounded like that nigga. I was like, yo, there's a truck on my block parked in front of a driveway. And it's too far away from the curb. Because I could see where them Totone niggas was parked from the subway stop. I told him where I was and he said he'd be right there. I was like, word? But I forgot all about him when I was getting wired up and shit. He must have jumped in the car and flew over here from Midtown or wherever. Because he came through. There he was with the cameraman and the whole shit. I was like, uh-oh, let me duck out of the way real quick. But I had to see this. Excuse me, gentlemen. Did you realize this is illegally parked in at least two kinds of fashions? Oh my, mic off that, my face. What kind of language is that? Why can't I address one person in this city without vulgarity? Guy, guy. The fuck this man has no vocabulary, and he's got an open bottle of Jim Beam. This man is... You're a police officer and you, you, you? this man, you're all police officers? These are police officers of New York City. What am I doing? Buddy, I, I'm not your buddy and I don't have to walk. Oh, oh he's, he's, this man's gonna shoot me over a parking violation? We have all of this on camera. All of this is on camera. Get this, get this. He's foaming at the mouth. This man is foaming at the mouth. He's an on-duty police officer. These men have drug issues, alcohol issues. This is just apprehensible behavior by the New York City police and they're illegally parked. Well, we got all your faces on camera right here. Oh, oh now, now they think they're getting away. You dropped your badge, you silly doofus. You're not getting away. This isn't some Steven Seagal movie. This is real life. Think you're gonna get away? You're not gonna get away. We're gonna get all of them. We have all this on tape. That, that, that was attempted assault, attempted murder. They're going to jail forever. Yeah, fucking kidding me? The news got chased for throwing them away like they was the police. I can't believe what I'm seeing. That work? This is perfect. This gives me enough time to ditch this damn wire. I can finally try and disappear for a while. And look, I got the 15 G's. I can pay back Tito, maybe get a brick for the road. So what if the money's marked? I'll be miles away before he figure that shit out. Psst, haters. I woke up in the spot and I'm like, yo, I got your money, nigga. And Tito says, word on the street is you've been talking with police. Ah, shit. How the fuck you know about this? Does he know? Does he know for real? Or is he just fucking with my head? Cause ain't no way he could've found out. Is he testing me? I gotta play this right. He's probably just bluffing. He couldn't have seen shit. Or none of the crew, neither. I know how to watch my back. Know what I mean? I don't even hustle around my way. I ain't on the block or none of that shit. I'm doing my own thing. Away from anyone else. And I keep things quiet. I never made a lot of noise in the street. All that shit with the cops, I made sure that was on the low. Every time we met. On some secret agent shit. You know what I mean? It's not like, yo, look at me, y'all, I'm talking with the police. And even if somebody did find something out, ain't no one gonna rat on me. Come on. I'm a real nigga. I'm from the street. You got to have balls to accuse me of something like this. After all, I'm Tito's cousin. No matter what he knows or what he thinks he knows, you never had me touched. I'm his best friend. We were little kids together. We're family. He's practically my big brother. He's, I don't think he would clip me. I mean, I'm not exactly worthless. I can still make him a lot of dough. I'm a natural born hustler, B. And from now on, I'll be on point with the cash. I swear to God. But I can't think about all that shit right now. I got to talk fast. Say something. Anything. Yo, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who told you that, but they lying. Come on, Tito. He <laughs> fam. Joke with me right now, right? I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> Mentira, mentira, la verdad, mentira lo que 